Okay, we're in Margate today and we are at the Lido. We're using light of the full moon to expose the image. So we're inviting people to come and have their picture taken and have that light shine on their face and then have a image taken at the end. So we're shooting on film and we're going to be shooting about 30 seconds for a minute and then we're going to be using that film in the dark room to develop and to enlarge the images and then we'll be left with these prints at the end which are made just by moonlight and this is called Lunar Portraits. <laughs> so what I'm going to ask you to do is um, light up your face with this torch and this makes sure I've got the focus right. Okay. You want a hat on or off? Either, it's up to you. So this is the 30 second one and it's going three, two, one. Yeah, they're amazing. So clear tonight. So that's the I just kept seeing cl the clouds go past and they looked like they were on strings so it became a bit like mighty bushy. <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what I mean? Because it was like the cloud was just like going past like I, I don't know like it didn't look real. It's like a little cloud. It was quite bright for me I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> not blinking going on. Yeah I was blinking loads. Yeah. I think there's something quite magical about it as I'm meeting down here in the dark to yeah. go and stand under the full moon and just take it in. Yeah. We almost need like a witchy and ceremony as well. <laughs> Margate's a bit witchy. I do yeah. have some sage in my bag. <laughs> yeah. Ceremonial finishing of the shoot. <laughs> it's nice to hear the sea in the background as well, actually. Yeah, when it, when you were doing your one, it, we were really quiet, and it was like oh, it's kind of like some sort of like photography um, healing moment, <laughs> like a photography gong bath, <laughs> but like with the sea. Shamanic version. <laughs> Shamanic photography. <laughs> Sleeping, it yeah. don't produce melatonin. Oh, yeah, of course. I was really surprised at how fast the clouds are moving um, and just how long a minute is, but then having the sea laughing right behind you it's just really peaceful. It was a really beautiful thing to do. Thank you. So, at the moment, I am measuring up the developer and fixer. So, this is the paper developer, which you can see here. Um, and I'm going to measure this out one to nine. So if you just. So now is the exciting part. We're going to turn off the light. So I'm just focusing the image. I do this by moving the um, focusing arm, and you can see how the books at the back become quite focused. Okay, so I think that is uh, ready to go. So I'm going to turn that off and put the timer on. So this is the Ilford developer paper, and this is the standard paper that you get in the darkroom. And it's really good just for testing things out. So I really recommend this if you've not done analog photography before. So I'm getting it out of the black bag at the moment and this is um, really sensitive to light so you can only take it out of the bag in red light. Put that back in there so it's nice and light tight and I'll take it over to the enlarger. So I'm just going to put it where the, I think the image is on the easel, straighten that up a little bit, and you'll see the image projected onto the photographic paper. Very quickly. So now I'm going to put the photographic paper into the developer, and I'm going to give it a little bit of an agitation just to make sure it gets a really even colouring, and you'll start to see the image appear at any moment. You can see it's coming up now. You can see the people here. Got some good blacks, got some good grey and some good whites. And then we're going to put it in the stop for 30 seconds. We're going to put it in the fix next to stop it being sensitive to light. Okay, so that seems to have come out really well. I'm now going to put it into the wash and this makes sure all of the chemistry comes out. So put it in water and we'll leave it here for 10 minutes. 
So now I'm going to take the print out of the water and take it to dry. So I'm just going to give it a little shake so I don't dip all over the floor and then take it outside. So you can see it a little bit closer here under the light. It's a few scratches but that's okay. So this is the drying rack and we can leave it here to dry and then it'll be finished.